All right, so to kick off the tutorial, we're gonna open up our settings application. We're gonna scroll down to general and then Siri. Now to activate Siri, you wanna enable it. So turn it on from this setting here, tap enable Siri, and you'll be able to access all the settings within Siri. Now, if you wanna disable it, the same theory here, you just tap on that, tap disable, and Siri will be disabled. So once you have Siri enabled here, you wanna go ahead and select your language. Now there's quite a few languages here that you can choose from, so hopefully yours will be listed. If it's not, unfortunately, you might have a hard time using Siri. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on voice gender here, and now with iOS 7, there is a male voice. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one because we did use the female voice last year with iOS 6, so this will give us some variation. The next setting is the voice feedback. And this section here, you can choose to have Siri talk back to you all the time or only when you have a hands-free device connected. I like Siri to talk back all the time, so I'm gonna select always. The next section is the My Info, so you choose your name and your contact from your contact lists. If you haven't put your own contact in your contact list, go ahead and do that. Then you can select your name and yourself, and then when Siri refers to you, they'll use your name. The next setting is the Raise to Speak setting, and this is a little controversial because there are some reports that say that when you have this enabled, your battery life will suffer a little bit. So I've had this issue with the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5, so I've always had mine off, and really I don't need to raise to speak to Siri. There's many other ways you can actually enable Siri or activate Siri to ask it questions. So once you've got all these settings all set up, we can move on and actually start using Siri. All right, so to ask Siri any question, all you need to do is hold on the home button and Siri will pop up and you can ask your question. Now, anytime you have a set of headsets connected to your iPhone, so we'll connect these right here, all you would do is just simply hold on the iPhone ear pods or whatever set of headsets you have that have a button connected to it. You should be able to just hold on it and it'll activate Siri as well. Now, if at any time you want to raise or reduce the volume of Siri, just go ahead and hold the home button there. And then you want to go ahead and use the volume rockers at the top to set the volume of Siri to where you'd like it. Now let's actually get into what you can do with Siri and what questions you can ask. So we'll start with a basic one. We'll place a phone call here. Call Tom Smith. Calling Tom Smith. And there you go, it placed the call. You can do the exact same thing with FaceTime, just saying FaceTime Tom Smith or even the phone number. We'll send a text message now using the phone number. Text message 416-444-3456. Hey, what's going on for the weekend? Question mark. Ready to send it. And there you go, you can actually see the message. Launching applications is also a new feature and I find it particularly useful in the car when I need to launch my Maps application really quick, but you can launch any application. So what we're going to do is go ahead and try it. Launch Sportsnet. And there you go. So it went ahead and launched my Sportsnet app. The only thing you need to make sure of is that you call it the name of the actual app because if you have like say two camera apps and you say launch camera app, it will prompt you and ask you which camera app to open. You can also set appointments and reminders and things like that. I actually showed this way back in iOS 6 and it's pretty much the same. You just basically say set reminder for so and so date and what you want it to do. So we'll go and set a calendar event. Set calendar event, birthday, December 16th. Okay, what time is the event? 1 p.m. Okay, I set up your event for Monday. So there you go, it set the event on my calendar. You can now also toggle between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and various settings like that. So we'll go ahead and test that out. Turn Bluetooth on. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth off. Okay, I turned off Bluetooth. Another feature with Siri I use a lot is the ability to send out tweets with Twitter and even search Twitter. So sending out a tweet would be simple. You would just do it exactly as I showed you with the messaging. You would just say tweet and then tweet out whatever you want to say and it would do so. But we'll go ahead and test out the search feature here. Search Twitter for the Dion Phaneuf hit. Searching on Twitter. Okay, here are some tweets. And there you go, you can look through all the different tweets about the specific thing you said. 
One feature that Siri has really improved upon is the ability to answer questions, whether it's a serious question or a dumb question, or if you're trying to find some funny things to tell Siri. And you can pretty much do anything and ask Siri anything, but for specifics here, let's go ahead and ask a sports question. What are the Leafs doing in the standings? The Maple Leafs are in fifth place in the Atlantic with a record of 16, 12, and three. What was the score in the Leaf game? Toronto was defeated by Boston last Sunday. The final score was 5-2. to two. So you can pretty much do this with any sporting event, and it should pull up the score or standings or various things like that. And it doesn't just stop there. You can actually ask serious and more in-depth questions like, What's the distance from Earth to the Sun? Okay, give me a moment. The answer is about 0 0.985 astronomical units. And there you go, it's pulled up that response. What's 10,000 times 452? Looking. The answer is 4,520,000. You can also use it as a conversion chart. Convert 5 feet 5 inches into centimeters. Checking on that. 5 feet 5 inches converts to about 165 centimeters. You can also check the weather, which is pretty basic and was this way with iOS 6. Is it cold in Toronto? It's about minus 7 degrees Celsius in Toronto, Canada. How does the weather look in Toronto for Saturday? Some bad weather coming up for Toronto, Canada on Saturday. Down to minus 9 degrees Celsius and snowing. So it's not looking too good for me in terms of weather in the near future, but it's cool that you can still ask Siri the weather for specific locations, and it'll go ahead and give you that. You can do that with times, asking it different times from different areas of the world, and it should be able to pull that up for you. You can turn on and play your iTunes radio. Again, you can ask it questions, and I will be posting a full video on all the cool and funny questions you can ask Siri. I already have one, which is the 60 funniest things you can ask Siri. You can check that out. I'll place the link in the description description down below, but I will be doing an updated version. So if you want to share your funny things that you've said to Siri, leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This was the basics to Siri with iOS 7. Should work on any device that has Siri capable. So that would be the iPhone 4S, 5, 5C, and 5S at this point. Should even work with devices like the iPad if they have uh, Siri enabled. So you have to make sure your device is capable to run Siri. I get a lot of questions about people who are using the iPhone 4 and older devices devices that can't access Siri and it's just not available for them at this time. Anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable. Play around with Siri. Don't forget that if you ever have any questions or wonder what you can ask Siri, use this little question mark here because you can pretty much get all the answers for what you want to ask and there's tons of stuff that you can ask Siri here and it really does help out, especially when you're in the car. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.